to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince, and I'm an Army veteran. And today, I want to talk to you about the veteran mortgage life insurance. But before we get to that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And you can find more content for Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Reddit for more content. Veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that I got all the business aspect out of the way, let's get into this topic, man. So today, again, I'm talking about the veteran mortgage life insurance, man, a benefit that can get you up to $200,000 towards your mortgage. And I think that's pretty cool for those out there who have a mortgage and potentially at some point, we are all going to leave this world. And if you want to make sure that your loved ones are taken care of, I believe that this is a benefit that you have to think about getting into. So I'm going to read and help out those who need to hear this information, understand what the veteran life mortgage life insurance is all about. Veteran mortgage life insurance offers mortgage protection insurance for families of veterans who um, severe service connected disabilities who've adapted a house to fit their needs find out if you qualify and how to apply and manage your coverage am i eligible for veterans mortgage life insurance you may be eligible for vm li veteran mortgage life insurance if you meet all of these requirements all of these must be true you have a severe disability that we've concluded was caused or made worse by your service, and you receive a special adaptive housing grant to buy, build, or make changes like installing ramps or widening doorways to a home so you can live more independently. And you have the title of the home, and you have a mortgage on the home, and you're under 70. So if you're a veteran who receive SAH, which is a special adaptive housing grant, then you're one of those veterans who meet the criteria for S, I mean for the VMLI, who's covered service members, veterans. They say, what kind of life insurance benefits can I get with VM? LI up to 200,000 in mortgage life insurance paid directly to the bank or other lenders that hold your mortgage. Important details about VMLI. The money will be directly paid to the bank or other lenders that hold your mortgage. Not a life insurance beneficiary, a person chosen to receive the money from a policy when the insured die. The coverage the amount of coverage will equal the amount you still owe on your mortgage, but won't be more than 200000 So what they're going to do is they're going to pay up to $200,000 worth of your mortgage. So if you're under that number, that's going to be great for you when you, you die and you leave behind your home, your home for your dependents. They will be taken care of through you applying for the VMLI. Um, they say VMLI is a decreased term insurance. This means your coverage amount goes down as your mortgage balance goes down. If you pay off your mortgage, your VMLI coverage will end. VMLI has no loan or cash value. It does not pay dividends, cash payments made to policyholders when a company makes a profit. So, again, the thing about this loan is as you pay off, it goes down in value, which I think is still great because it says that they're going to cover whatever it is that you owe based in a nutshell. So the question you may be asking is, how do I get these benefits? But right here, it says first, you need to apply for a special housing um grant. If you get an SAH grant, your loan um, guarantee agent will tell you if you qualify for VMLI. If you already have an 
SAH grant. Ask your agent about the VMLI. Your agent will help you fill out a veteran mortgage life insurance statement, VA form 298636. And right here, they have the actual um form for you. And I'm going to put that in the description so that, you know, you can make sure that you apply for these benefits. And I think it's pretty cool because, like I said, they're paying up to $200,000 in um as far as for your mortgage when you die. And I think this is a great benefit for veterans with family members to ensure that if you're already getting the um SAH, which is, you know, the grant that they give to those veterans who, you know, have to, you know, um, th like basically, you know, they have to ride around in the, um, in a wheelchair, um, motorized wheelchair. They had to, um, get their van refixed and they had to, you know, put, um, ramps on their house and different things that I read earlier. Um, these veterans are entitled to this benefit. So please, if you know of a veteran that, is in a situation where they're, you know, riding around in a motorized um wheelchair or you see them with the additions that they had they um have happen for their home or for their vehicle or if you know a veteran that haven't received none of that stuff and they're in a home and they need help, then please go to the description, fill out this information. Sign up for these benefits and make sure that this veteran get what they need because the reason why I'm going over a lot of this information just to help you understand and give you a clear picture of what I'm trying to do with Vet Talk, I'm trying to make sure that veterans know what they're entitled to because one of the biggest problems is there are a lot of veterans that go down to the VA Monday through Friday. Polly's, you know what I'm saying? 30 days out of the month or, you know, 20 something, however many days. And you won't believe that a lot of them go there. And it's a lot of information that they have no clue about because the misinformation or the lack of information that people don't know is just because a veteran goes down to the VA don't know, doesn't mean that they know about the benefits because when we see doctors, they're there to help us with our issues. They're not there to help us apply for benefits. They're not there to help us, or point us in the direction of what benefits we entitled to. They don't do none of that stuff. They're only there to diagnose our symptoms and give us solutions to cure those symptoms. But as far as receiving compensation, as far as um, telling us about different programs that the VA has to offer, they really don't tell us those things. They may tell you things, okay, like for me, for instance, I has I have sleep apnea. They wanted to put some microchip thing in my neck to help me breathe at night. And because that's something that I believe they're being paid for, they told me about that, which I'm not going to do it, but they told me about it. So that was one thing that they told me about. But when it came to me being compensated, that wasn't something that they told me about. They didn't one time mention it. They didn't one time tell me how to go about doing it. They didn't one time do any of the sort. So that's why I'm putting this information out because I used to sit down beside veterans at the VA and I would ask them random questions. Like I had a veteran that I knew, uh, you know, I would say a couple of veterans that were going to the VA, um, were receiving cancer treatment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they were not receiving any monetary compensation for their disabilities. They didn't know that they could receive that money and they have been out since the Vietnam era. So that's why I'm saying that there are a lot of veterans that really don't know this information. And it's our job as those who are receiving to reach back and help out our brothers and sisters that may not know this information. And even if you think they know, ask them, stop them, say, hey, are you receiving your benefits? Are you getting everything that you need? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? That's something I ask veterans once I find out they're a veteran, and if they say, yeah, cool. If they say no, then I download into them and give them what they need because that's what Vet Talk is all about. It's all about helping my brothers and sisters that have served. So this has been another episode of Vet Talk with your boy, Brother Vince. As always, Vet Talk out.